New room cleaned, new animal. And it's a crab. It's fun. Look at that. Crab action. Yes. I will. Good morning, everyone. It's that time. You know what time that is. Breakfast time. So we are at the Blue Iguana to get some breakfast burritos. They're looking pretty tasty. Here's your options for some breakfast burritos. Choose your tortilla, stuff you want inside, more stuff you want inside, and some toppings. While Patrick and I got breakfast burritos, the kiddos weren't feeling that. So we have the continental breakfast, the buffet, and the omelet station that we're gonna check out for them. So you can never go wrong with some pastries. Yum. And then this is the omelet station and the line for said omelet station. As for the kids' favorites, milk, chocolate milk, the classic cereals, more meats and cheeses, some fruits. And of course, some of the other offerings. <laughs> Alright, 100% honest truth here. This breakfast burrito is absolutely delicious. Like, surprisingly so. Highly recommend. Breakfast burritos from Blue Iguana for breakfast. Aruba situations. Yeah. A little pan to the right. A little pan to the left. Beach video coming. Watch that sucker. This is pretty nice. Eagle Beach. Out. Little, little beer action in Aruba. Yeah. I mean, come on. That's how it is now. This is just... This is how it is now, people. You know, we're just, we're not even coming home. <laughs> we're going to try to make it on YouTube here. There you go. Yeah. I mean, thanks for getting us to the point that we're monetized. And now, we're just going to chill. We're chilling in a room. We're chilling at Eagle Beach. Yeah, this is it. For eternity? I don't know what the kids are going to do, but we'll figure it out. Sweet. People got to tell you about this taxi ride to Eagle Beach, man. This, <laughs> It was kind of wild. So, like, first off, we're not, like, people that go and take, like, the tour bus around the islands and stuff like that. We like to try to go out and do things on our own and just kind of explore or whatever. So, yeah, we were walking around, saw, like, the taxi stand, like, right outside the cruise terminal, and, like, as soon as you come out, and they have, like, a big sign up. Like, $15 uh, U.S. one way to Eagle Beach, and they'll actually have, like, the rates to Eagle Beach on there, on the sign interesting thing is allegedly the pricing is regulated or controlled to a certain extent at least on taxis so uh, you don't have to worry about paying other than what's listed so i will tell you at eagle beach when we were getting done um, they told us just come back right where we got dropped off they pulled into a spot like right across from the beach and you know it's stenciled right in there for taxis so there was like several in there the drivers were outside talking we're like hey back to the cruise terminal yep no problem we're like, just confirming 15 bucks. They're like, yep. So easy peasy. Yeah. We did some Aruba. That was crazy. I think we're going to go maybe look around at some more stuff or whatever, but. Woo this cruise ship stuff is real. All right, so don't worry, we're not gonna get too crazy here, but I was just getting ready to take a shower and like I saw something and I'm like, man, this is just, this is awesome. See that foot right there? See that sand? It's from Aruba, bro. Aruba. It's a messed up foot, but it's got some Aruba sand on it. It's happy. Right here. Yeah, we have some Aruba action. 
I mean, come on, this is pretty sweet looking. I mean, look at this at night right here. Ah, so yeah, we were gonna we were gonna head back out. We we're gonna pop back out, but yeah, I got I got a wicked wicked bad chafe going on from the Eagle Beach. <laughs> so yeah, uh, maybe a little TMI there, but you know the wicked chafe. Just put it out there again, preventing some further explorations of nighttime in Aruba, which might be good because if you go to Aruba at night, you know there's a chance you may not make it back. So just get that out of the way make sure we get back on the ship so same put but it's cool walking around at night love it love it like there's something about like the blue lights they just kind of they're like calming and like the the wind off the wave not the waves but the ocean you know i was getting too deep into it but it's nice it's like relaxing it's calming and there's like less people so yeah Getting all geared up now for some Cucina del Capitano dinner. Yes, we're doing some dinner at Cucina del Capitano. All right, starting out with the calamari. So that was actually surprisingly delicious. It really was. And that lime action, that really took care of business on it. It was a charred lime, it did it. Now, known as meatball, you got that. What'd you think about that one? It was good. It was a giant meatball covered in cheese. Can't really complain. You know, you gave me a little bit of it and it, it wasn't too bad. No. Um, all right, rice balls, so, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe try them again. Uh, it's pasta. I, I, I'm i glad we tried it, but I, I wouldn't get that again. I didn't really like that too much. I wouldn't either. It was okay. Okay. Um, moving on, the chicken parm. Man, that was good. It was so good and it was big. It was super big. And some of that went back to the room, definitely. <laughs> uh -huh. It was really good. Highly recommend that one. Yeah, uh, side of spaghetti with it, but you know, I didn't have any of that. Went back to the room, one of the kids demolished it. The gnocchi, it, it wasn't too epic. So I, I wouldn't definitely, I don't yeah. think I would get it again. It was okay, it was okay. It wasn't wonderful though. <laughs> So moving on to the captain's signature dish that you had, John. Yeah, so I understand they have a different one for every ship. This was just some penne and some beef veal. It was good, it was really good. I'd recommend it. So would you get it again? I would. Okay, and then the cauliflower broccoli. Oh, okay, actually it was more delicious than it should have been, I think. Like she explained it all, it was good. I recommend it as a nice uh, a veggie. Yeah, all yeah. right. Bow bam, Cochina del Capitano. Oh, desserts next. Desserts. All right, for the main the main event here, <laughs> we menu hacked it again. You have never seen it anywhere but here, I'm telling you what. This is where it's at. We took it back to the room. We did, we could not finish yeah, this. We got boxes, we got boxes. So I got the pie with apples and I had like almond and caramel and I had like the cream stuff in it. The ice cream stuff? Yeah, and it was good. Mm -hmm. And the apples were like stewed and like some sort of like deliciousness. Okay, so it was like a baby apple pie. Yeah, and the crust was so buttery. It was like stupid buttery. <laughs> like, I didn't try any. It was good. I would definitely, yeah, do that Do that apple one. Don't do what you got. No, do what I got. Nope. So I got a polenta cake, Yeah. and it had like citrus cream, like lemony flavored. Okay, so if you like lemon, do it. Polenta cake, yum. Bam, there it is. Cucina <laughs> del Capitano dinner time, Pat Judd style. Yep. All right, so this is like the forward facing camera and yeah, it's pretty dark out, leaving Aruba. Just did some cool turning maneuver with like the thrusters. I'm telling you, you could feel that thing. <laughs> that was crazy. Watchers of this video, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. If you're new in town, please consider subscribing. We'd love it. Uh, but really though, honestly, with all that being considered and said, <laughs> until we see you again, keep your nose clean. Bye-bye.